In this video, we're going to compare two scales. So right here, I'm already in the spreadsheet here, and we're going to compare rate your math skills without a calculator, and do you finish your homework? So I'm hoping that the people that finish their homework will have better math skills without their calculator. But let's see if that's true. So we want to compare these two items. So first, we're going to open a new uh, spreadsheet. We're going to add a sheet. Okay, and in here, we've got a blank sheet. Uh, sheet 16 for me, you won't be that high. And we're going to take, do you like working with fractions? So we're going to highlight all this. This is our fractions one. Copy. And we're going to just paste it here, all the data here. Paste. And this is our fraction one. And over here, we're going to do the other one. We're going to do the homework. And we're going to see if there's a relationship uh, between working with fractions and homework. So let's take a look. So we'll go to the homework page. Oh, we're in the wrong place again. I'm clicking in the wrong place. So over here, we're going to now, do you like working with fractions? And seven was like, yes. So let's see, do you, do you finish your homework? And again, we're going to highlight all this. And the seven was yes. And we're going to see if there's a relationship. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go here to sheet 16, and we're going to paste it. And now we're going to find out if there's a relationship between the two. So we're going to highlight the information here. So we're going to highlight this is the fractional, and this is the homework. And I'm going to see if there's a relationship. We're going to create what's called a scatter plot. So here we're going to click on Insert Chart. And we don't want a bar graph this time. We want a scatter plot. So we're going to... Instead of a histogram, we're going to come down here. We're going to find a scatter plot. There, scatter. Ooh, the points are all over the place. So obviously, this is not a relationship, but we tried it. So the points are everywhere. So if you see, there's the homework. There's the fractions. And let's close it. And there's no relationship. But we'll do a line of best fit just to check. We're going to double click here. And we're going to go to, not on the titles, we're going to go to series here. Okay, and we're going to come down here and we're going to add a trend line. I'm going to click here, add a trend line. Linear, we'll put a label. We want to see that you want to use an equation here. So it's going to give us the equation of the trend line. We're going to show R squared. And there's our equation. So 0 0.01 okay, x plus that number and there's our r squared is tiny 0 0.014 there's definitely no relationship here but we'll copy this okay we'll copy the the chart so we'll go over here and copy it and put it into we're gonna copy the chart here and put it into our document to show that we at least tried to see if we can figure out i thought there might have been a relationship but there wasn't so here's a comparison we made between doing your homework and math skills with a calculator Okay, and we'll paste it, and we'll just leave it just like that. And down at the bottom, we're going to do a little conclusion. You can see there is no relationship. Okay, first we can write a sentence. Um, there, Yeah, just there is no relationship between doing homework and working with fractions. We could, because the points are scattered. Uh, if you know if we put a line in our R squared, so our correlation, our correlation coefficient proves this. Correlation coefficient Uh, of 0 0.014 proves this. And I was hoping there'd be a relation, but there wasn't. And then that's it. We finished that comparing scales questions. And then at the end, I'm just going to look at some of the open-ended questions and write a little bit of a conclusion, and I'm done.